guys, welcome to today's vlog. Uh, today's vlog is going to be something that I've already stated in the past, which would just be my last vlog where I was in the Cauldron Falls and it's taken me long enough to find it. So now that I know what it is, I am going back to make sure that I get a, an absolute cracker of a photograph, something that's very, very decent and worthy of me to, to show you. The shot that I got in the last vlog that you saw from there was very basic in my opinion but I wanted to bring something back to, sh to show that I found where I had been looking for. So that's where I'm going today. I'm heading for the Cauldron Falls which lies in Glencoe and then I'm going to continue further north uh, and do a bit of exploring and that's what this channel is all about. Now as you've started to notice in the start of my vlogs it's all about inspire, explore and create and that is something that I'm very very passionate about. I'm, I'm very passionate about exploring, creating something within the camera and bringing that memory back to you guys to see. So please do join me on this road trip and see where we end up. guys and welcome back to the Cauldron Falls and because it's been so sunny which is very very rare in Scotland we have had sunshine for almost a month and no rain um, and the falls is running very very shallow but that's fine I'm trying my hardest to try and do something with it but you can see the view that I just showed you there um, the settings that I'm doing is an f16 a one second exposure and I'm doing ISO 50 um, and I have an ND eight hard grad and an ND4 soft grad on to try and slow that water down um, and control the sky. I'm just hoping for a little bit of sunshine to clip the top of the bucolet of the moor. Um, that way that will give a lot, a lot more contrast in the photograph. But I'm unsure of the name of the mountain that's to the left of the of the moor. It's next, it's next to the ski ranch. If anybody wants to put the name of that in the comments, I'd appreciate that. Uh, that is lighting up beautifully right now and there's some sunshine, there's some snow sorry, on the tops of the peaks still. So I'm going to take this shot and see how it looks and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. different composition in this, this shot and I'm precariously using a tripod in the water and it's very very slimy and, and slippy with moss and algae but this is the composition and I don't know if you can make it in the back of the camera but the histogram looks pretty good to me um, and I have this bit down here that's fallen off and it leads you into the mountain um, it's just there's so much traffic passing which is what I'm waiting on I'm waiting the traffic kind of clearing so that it gives me less work in post-production but I guess this is the time of the year where Glencoe 
in the north of Scotland is one of the busiest areas and you can see why it is just such a beautiful beautiful spot and again I'm really happy with the photographs that I got here that I've taken today and previous but there's still something that I want to get from this um, I want the water I want more water I want it fierce pretty much the way it was the first time I came but with no wind um, and I want that to happen this time, of se this time of the season where there's green in the foreground and hopefully in the next week or two we'll start to see the purple coming through on the, mo on the, the heather so this has been Cauldron Falls and I know it's only been short and sweet but it has just been on my, obje my objective to get this one shot um, and I hope you're really happy with it because I know I'm happy with it so please enjoy and until the next time Take care guys from the glorious Glencoe and Calder Falls and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.